Hello everyone, welcome to Programming Knowledge. So again, welcome you all to Programming Knowledge. So in today's tutorial, we are going to cover with 2D dynamic programming. So basically, I what I mean by 2D dynamic programming is tabulation. Today we are going to cover with 2D uh, dynamic programming that is tabulation. Uh, the basic difference between the 1D and 2D is like in the 1D we used to use array, but in the 2D we are going to use matrix, and this is known as tabulation. While the concept in 1D that is linear. We, that concept is known as memoization. So today we are going to concept with the tabulation. So let's get start with today's tutorial. So the first problem I am going to cover is unique paths. So uh, the basic I will explain this problem. So like in this problem what I have. I have a 3 cross 2 matrix. So I uh, uh, write down this matrix. Suppose just for example. This is my matrix. Uh, just for the example. Uh, 0 0 0 and 0 0 0 so I am standing at the top left so basically I have to reach from top left to right bottom so I have to reach from top left to right bottom and I can only move in right direction and down direction so I have to calculate I have to calculate calculate the number of unique combinations or what you say permutations anything number of unique ways to reach there so just for an example so I, I have to I am standing at top left and I have to reach at the right bottom and I can only move in right and down direction I have to cal calculate the number of the uh, unique ways to reach there so for this test case I have three like I move right right and then down I move to down so this is down then right I come here goes down then right then down I come here then from here I move right and again right so these are the three ways so let's implement this in our python code so for this uh, uh, we take a matrix generate a matrix and then we approach the problem so like th let's solve this so just for the case I'll take t is equal to int input number of test cases for i in range t and I'll uh, I'll take uh, two parameters r comma c is equal to map int comma input dot split then what I'm going to do uh, uh, I'll create a matrix dp is equal to 0 star c for i in range r so this would generate me an empty matrix and now I'll I'll make a, a logic behind to uh, construct this 2D dynamic programming logic so basically what I need to do I need to do for i in range r for j in range c if if i is equal to 0 or j is equal to 0 so here I can move only horizontally that is right and vertically that is down then dp of ij will have a value else i'll calculate a value of dp of ij okay so basically now i have two values so one is move only horizontally and vertically that is if i is equal to 0 or j is equal to 0 else else i have a choice because if you are in the first row or in the first column so you can only move in one direction that is in column you can move vertically down and in the uh, row you can move uh, horizontally right though i have a choice that uh, like here i can move i can move only one direction only in one direction either horizontally or either 
vertically so dp of ij becomes 1 else i have a choice move down or right so dp of ij will have a value so dp of ij will have a, a choice so the choice would be i either i'll i'll move i can come uh, i can come uh, if i move down so i'll have the value of the uh, my uh, uh, upward call uh, upward upward value or dp of i comma j minus 1 so uh, j minus 1 that is if i move right so i will have a value of j minus 1 and if i come down i will have a value of i minus 1 then simply print dp of minus 1 comma minus 1 simply this would give you the value of the last index okay so let's run our program and uh, i'll give two values 3 comma 2 so i'll give two uh, two test cases 3 comma 2 so this this gives me the first value of 3 another test case i am having here is 7 comma 7 and 3 so let me run this 7 and 3 perfect so this uh, completes our one program that is the unique path so let's do the another one so this is another one so uh, so what i'm telling you that this problem is also similar to that one so i have to move i'm standing at the top left and i have to reach at the right bottom i can move only in uh, right and down direction but now calculate the minimum cost calculate the minimum cost to reach there the first brute force solution that comes in our mind is that we generate all the paths and then we calculate the cost for each part but that's a brute force solution the optimal solution would be done using the dynamic programming so let's uh, do this using dynamic programming so what I'll do I'll copy this template because this is very much the same and now what I'm going to do uh, since I would take an input matrix so I'll take dp is equal to empty list okay first I'll remove this yeah perfect the dp is an empty matrix for i in range r so I'll take a list dp dot append list map comma int comma input input dot split so this would I, I would fill my matrix initial matrix now I have to go for, with the cost so that's very interesting for i in range 1 comma r so this is the one so and the similar we do for j in range 1 comma c and the next we do for i in range r for j in range c and then in the end we print dp of minus 1 comma minus 1 so we have got our template for this question to solve this is very much similar to the last one so so first calculate the min cost min cost for row wise okay so when i have a min cost for the row wise so you can see dp of of i comma 0 plus equal to dp of i minus 1 comma 0 because uh, uh, I told you that uh, if you are in the first row and the first column you have only one choice to move that is either horizontally or vertically depending on the row and the column so the simply the second one would also apply for the same so here let's do this dp of 0 comma j plus equal to dp of 0 comma j minus 1 okay so move min cost for call column wise because uh, here you can see we can have not much of the choice either you can move horizontally or, uh, or horizontal or vertical depending on the first row or in the first column but now I have a choice choice to take minimum so dp of ij is equal to minimum 
of dp of i minus 1 comma j comma dp of i comma j minus 1 so perfectly fine so just choice to take minimum either vertical uh, because uh, either right or down so and this in this one we were uh, we had a choice to uh, we had a choice so we were making only one choice either we make minimum for row wise and minimum for column wise because we can only make in one direction the first row and the first column but when we get out of that first row and the first column then we have a choice so let's uh, run our test cases so this is the path and the path we are going to take is 13111 so that is the minimum cost we are going to take so let's run this test case invalid syntax okay let me debug for i in range r yeah i had an error in here yes so this should be dp yes perfectly fine okay i had to give a test case value as well so i'll run again i'll give one test case and the matrix r comma c value will be 3 and this is my matrix okay i'm having some issue uh, let me check please yeah so uh, uh, hello welcome back to all uh, I had an error like uh, like first error was that that I had to take the indexing from one comma r and one comma c, and I, then I had to min, uh, also get the uh, I have to add the value so I had to post a, put a plus symbol here. So after putting that plus symbol, uh, I can now uh, reach my desired uh, value. So let's run our test case, and now I'll show you. Uh, I'll copy the test case. Yeah, perfectly. So I'll give get the value as seven. Okay so you can also trace that matrix also how did we reach that value and this is the way you will get so uh, like one so like in the same way you can see we have one then three that becomes four then we have value becomes five then six and then seven we reach that value so perfectly fine so thank you guys thank you so much uh, so i'll catch up in the next video